Welcome into the Bunker Information Center. Uh, tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about being self-sustainable, how you need to prepare for what's coming. Um, you know, I just wanted to get into a few things with you guys. Um, it's an important episode today because I think it's going to cover uh, important items and things that you guys need to not only be self-sustainable, but to protect yourself and your family from what is coming. So what is coming down the line? Um, obviously, you know, you can go back and watch some of my previous videos. I have talked about um, what I think is coming. I've talked about preparing. Uh, and I think I was one of the first channels to, to basically say, like, sell your crypto, buy commodities, gold, silver, um, you know, storable foods, you know, just anything like that. So um, hopefully you guys listened and, you know, we're in a pretty good spot at this point. Um, right now, we're staring at the very likely outcome of inflationary recession. And I do not say that lightly. Um, I believe that we could see hyperinflation by the end of the year. Uh, right now, we have so many things playing out that form the perfect storm for this. Um, we have most of the world economy cutting off Russia from importing anything into their country. We have Russia cutting off these countries as well and cutting off really everyone. Um, and they're trying to, you know, they, they have to become self-sustainable as a country because they're not going to be getting the, um, the imports from other countries. So we have to consider that as well. Um, Russia is a major exporter of potash, ammonia, urea, and other soil nutrients. So things that they use like fertilizer. Fertilizer was already up 100% in 2021. I talked about this like a couple months ago. And um, now it's up like 200%. You know, it's, it's just insane. So fertilizer is vital to making corn as well as soybeans, um, but it takes a lot less to make soybeans, uh, which is, you know, um, unfortunate because I think soybean oils are actually bad for you. Um, but anyway, you know, a lot of this is going to affect many different inputs into the farming system. And so um, basically it's vital for corn, which is also vital for animal feeds. And then you go down the line. Um, and this will eventually affect you uh, with significantly higher prices for most foods. In America, we will most likely still have food, uh, but it will be expensive and there will be shortages from here, you know, here and there in different places. Um, in other countries, they will most likely starve. So, you know, pray for those countries and pray that they have the strength to get through this and hopefully that um, we can figure out other solutions. I do think another, you know, other solutions are just growing your own food, but some of these countries, um, the soil is so bad that they can't even do that. So, um, Saad Garu uh, is a is a is a guru. Um, Saad Guru, you know, you can find him on YouTube. He's he's doing a ton of stuff for soil because he understands, um, I think what's coming. So he he understands that it's it's all about you know, um, revitalizing the soil, and then that can revitalize ourselves. Um, as you can see, also gas prices have reached insane levels. Europe imports nearly half of its diesel from Russia. Um, where that diesel will come from uh, and when, I don't know. Um, Biden doesn't seem too adamant about pumping oil here in America. He is telling people to do it. Um, he is telling companies to do it. But there hasn't really been a, like a rallying cry around it um, because I think of the ESG stuff, which again, I think is evil. Um, I think anything to do with ESG uh, is, is basically social credit score that they will combine in with the new um, digital dollar and you know, cashless society and, and things like this that obviously the Bible um, predicted some of this stuff. It's, it's pretty scary. Uh, but what we can do about it is we can just uh, ascend as you know, people who are um, helping others and people who are living in, you know, in Christ's footsteps, growing their own food, um, just, you know, being as self-sustainable as possible and, um, you know, really uh, becoming one with the land uh, is, is, is important uh, as well to disconnect from, you know, everything that we deal with on a daily basis. It's, it's amazing. And honestly, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been so busy um, with work and then with, you know, um, creating this garden and um, just being more self-sustainable. There's just always so many things to do every day. Uh, it seems, you know, that, that there's not enough time. Um, but, you know, what we can see is, again, there's not really a rallying cry around it. Um, we have, you know, the resources to lead the world during this crisis, but our leadership seems to want to see our demise for some reason. 
uh, in, in so many different ways. Um, it would have been nice to just sit down at the table and talk to Putin about this. I mean, or at least um, have a discussion or at least an understanding of what he's doing, um, because in some ways it does make sense what he's doing. And obviously uh, I'm not for, you know, war, um, but I think that the story has really gotten um, captured by the media, which it always does. Uh, so we just have to be careful and understand um, how it impacts us and how it impacts others and how we can help. And so what can you do about it? Well, you can prepare. So for, first you're gonna need storable food. So we'll just, I'm just gonna go through a line of different things that you might need um, because as easy as it is for me at this point to know like stuff that I need, it's, I look back like a couple of years ago before I started doing this and um, it seems like it was a little bit difficult for me to start in terms of like, what do I need and um, for storable foods and sort of you find your own thing and you find, you'll find your way, but um, things that you might need, uh, you need, you need things that are going to store a long time, obviously any food, any canned food, like tuna, canned vegetables, soups, beans, um, and you know, other canned stuff that you might like, um, then like any frozen veggies, like peas, uh, corn, especially because we see what's going to happen with corn, other frozen options like chicken and other meats, chicken will last the longest in the freezer. Um, you also have, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, you also want to get probably like some chicken broth, um, some broth in general uh, for soups. Uh, I think that that's, that's a valuable thing to have. It's going to last a long time. You also want to have spaghetti, tomato sauce, uh, maybe quinoa, if you like that. Um, you know, obviously any condiments you might need um, that will last a while as well. Um, dry beans as well. Um, I would also look into getting flour and other baking needs. We do see that Russia and um, Ukraine are you know, they're sort of together known as like the world's bread basket. Um, so we will see an issue um, with um, bread prices um, because of this, I believe, and because of the high, um, obviously, prices that uh, everyone's dealing with, like that has to transport our food because of the high gas prices. Um, you know, anything that you need for baking, I would say, um, obviously, you know, you can look up like, what are the, all the things I need for baking? Uh, and, and look up like all the ingredients you might need to bake some bread. I personally have also gotten wheat berries. Um, you can buy those right off Amazon, pretty simple. They last a long time. Uh, I've gotten rye berries, barley. Um, I also got a mill grinder so I can like grind my own berries down. Obviously, you're going to need that if you're going to use them. Um, you can also store things like this or really anything in mylar bags with oxygen packets. So look into mylar bags and again, oxygen packets, uh, you can use jars as well. Um, and then there's split peas, uh, I just kind of randomly, I got these recently, they'll last up to like three years or more, um, and freeze, freeze dried items. So like emergency food kits from Patriot supply, um, they're good for, you know, obviously like a couple of weeks if something happened and you needed uh, you know, food, those are, those will last for like 25 years. Um, you'll also want water bottles, uh, you know, like little ones and then maybe big ones. I personally have just kept my crystal spring, um, deliveries and I don't really use them most of the time. You'll also want to grow your own food. Um, so you might think about potato grow bags. Um, you can look into Amazon potato grow bags they are very easy to grow. Um, you can also get raised bed on Amazon for like 60 bucks get some topsoil, some cow manure and some other compost, mix them all together in the raised bed and then plant some seeds. Or you can just transplant uh, plants from local nursery or garden center, which is probably the easiest way. Um, you're also going to want to be self-reliable with your financial situation, which is like the main reason that I have done this channel for so long. Um, so buy some gold, some silver, uh, have some cash on hand. Maybe you have some crypto if you feel, you know, risky. I do still think crypto has another down leg to go. So if people have been waiting, like, oh, what does the crypto bunker think of crypto? Well, you know, I think we have another big leg down to go. I could see $20,000 Bitcoin and $1,000 ETH. Uh, and again, I, I will be waiting that out. So I, I have not FOMO'd in at all. I don't, you know, think that this economy uh, is good for risk assets. Um, you obviously don't want to have large amounts of money in the bank during this situation. Um, I say that because we obviously have 
uh, hyperinflation. We have, um, we're going to have, you know, shortages. People are going to be running to the bank. And, you know, we also have the possibility of a cyber attack, like I've said before, from Russia, they're backed into a corner. You know, what do they have left? Well, they have, you know, a cyber attack potentially uh, on, on America. Um, God forbid that they would use a nuclear option on America. I don't think they would. Um, but, you know, there's there's ways to prepare for that as well. Unfortunately, to even be able to, to even have to talk about that is like insane. Um, but you want to have like a safe space, possibly in your basement, if you have a basement. Um, if not, you, um, you know, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's just it's just crazy to even think about. But you can look it up, like how to prepare for that, obviously. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, there's all there's obviously many things to prepare for. I, I can't cover all of them in this episode, but uh, I did cover the ones that I think are relevant. So hopefully you guys got something out of the video. Um, if you did, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great night.